So a common theme lately in our videos is the Subaru conversion. So we're going full speed, trying to get this done. Tonight I'm gonna to talk about throttle reversers. Another common theme. So we were dealing with Subi swaps and we got this throttle reverser from them and they told us, well, they, we got this throttle reverser from them. We put the engine in. That's when we added the hatch and you can see these scratch marks on it. If you remember, I ended up clearancing my hatch a bit more just because it was touching this. We ended up cutting a plate out of the top. Like, like we did tons of work to make this work. Then you can see here, I have two of them. So Subi Swaps told me that the one I had was wrong for a split window bus. So they sent me another one. Exactly the same as the first one. So anyhow, when we reached out to the guys at Fellow Speed and we talked to them and said, hey, we're doing a Subaru swap on a split window bus. I said, what do you have for a throttle reverser? Like, what do you do? And he's like, throttle reverser? You don't need a throttle reverser on a split window bus. So look at this, okay? <laughs> if he comes in, here's our engine mounted. We took the throttle reverser off. We mounted the throttle body on. You can see the new gas tank in the back. And what these guys do, they sell you this elbow, okay? My throttle body is just lightly sitting on. And then that goes on there. You put your intake tube on, and then you put a cone filter on the end. So guess what? All that extra work was not required. If you're doing a Subaru swap, in a split window bus, you do not need a throttle body reverser. You can get away with just this elbow. Again, save yourself a few bucks. I think the throttle body reverser is around 300 American, if I remember correctly. I believe this kit was 65 pounds. Check out these numbers. I'm going by memory, but it works. I have. I don't want to say I have a ton of room, but I probably have about an inch clearance between this throttle body elbow here and, or my air intake elbow and my uh, gas tank. So there you have it. Split window bus, not required. Easier install, more clearance. Like up here is obviously, now I've got tons of room. So yeah. I can put my fire suppression back in or whatever I want above the engine. I've got space. Sean just pointed over. I want to show you something really cool, something we're really excited about, but we also got our exhaust from Fellow Speed. Here is our pile of Subaru parts um, ready to go in. But it is nice, it is clean. I don't have the space to lay it out properly. We were quite excited to see this. There you go, there you have it. So that's gonna be how the exhaust goes. Little tailpipe pointing outside. All stainless steel, beautiful looking. Already has my bungs, so like, it's ready to go, right? So, um, ordered it two weeks later. It was here. Still don't have my one from Subi Swaps to compare, so I can only show you one. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you.